What's up guys, it's me Piyush and today we're going to be talking about the 10 most impressive features of the new Mi Calculator app that make it the best calculator app for macOS. So let's get started. First of all, the new Mi Calculator app is free. Now this is probably the best feature any app could have. While there is a paid version of the new Mi Calculator app, I really don't think it's necessary because the free version can handle basically anything and I mean anything that you'll need to do on a calculator. With all the amazing things you get in the Numi Calculator app, the fact that it's free is unreal. In addition, the Numi Calculator app supports both light mode and dark mode. For me, this is a very important feature because I think the aesthetic of a product is really important when you're using it. The advantage of having the decision between dark mode and light mode is pretty obvious. If you're in a dark environment or it's nighttime, then you can use dark mode because it's easier on your eyes. If you're outside or if you're in a bright environment, then you can use light mode because it'll match the surroundings that you're in. I personally just keep it always on dark mode because as I said, it looks aesthetically pleasing. To set this to the desired mode, open the app and click the little switch on the bottom left of the window. Then find the second option on the top called night mode. Turn this on to set to a dark mode or leave it unchecked for light mode. Unlike the standard calculator on macOS, the new Mi app can be found in the menu bar. You don't have to swipe right from the trackpad to access the calculator or you don't have to search it up in spotlight search. If you want to use the new Mi calculator app, just go to the menu bar and click on the logo. Then the window of the calculator app will open up for you. Just like the other features, to turn this on, open the new Mi calculator app and click the little switch on the bottom left side of the window. Then when the settings window opens, look at the first selectable option which says show in menu bar. Once you click this, you can find the Numi app waiting for you in the menu bar. If you want an even easier way to open up the Numi calculator app without going into the menu bar, then you can turn on the shortcut or hotkey for it. This allows you to open up the app quickly when you need it. In addition, the hotkey can also be used to close the app when you don't need it anymore. To activate this feature, open the Numi app and open up the settings window. Then find the box that says hotkey and add the hotkey of choice. I personally use Control c because it's pretty easy to remember, C for calculator. Unlike the standard calculator app on macOS, the Numi app can convert basically anything you need it to. It can convert time from different time zones, it can convert different currencies, it can even convert measurements such as pounds to kilograms or inches to centimeters. Other than just conversions, the app can also calculate time. Whenever I say calculate time, I mean that you can ask the app what the date will be in 10 days or what the date will be in a month, something like that. Also, another beneficial feature in the Numi app is calculating percents. If you ever need to calculate tax or tip, then you can use the Numi app. As you can see, there's numerous useful tools packed into this app. Another feature the Numi calculator app has that the standard calculator app doesn't have is always on top. This feature is pretty self-explanatory. With this feature, the Numi app window will always stay on top no matter how many other windows you have open. This way you can easily interact with all the open applications on your Mac without having to go look for the calculator again. To turn this on, go to the settings window in Numi and then go to the third option on the top which is named always on top. Then select this to turn on the feature. Type to calculate is probably my favorite feature. Instead of having to click random keyboard shortcuts to get a subtract sign or addition sign, now you can just type it in the new me app. For example, if you wanted to add an Indian rupee symbol. If you want to do that normally, then you'd have to click Control command space. Then you would have to dig through the menu to find the correct symbol. However, in the new me app, you can just type in Indian rupee and it'll show up for you. As you can see, this is a really big time saver when compared to other calculator apps. The Numi Calculator app is super simple and aesthetically pleasing. The monospaced font and the clean background allow for a good calculator experience, if that's the thing. In my opinion, it looks far better than the standard calculator app in macOS. Another really cool feature in the Numi Calculator app is the ability to control how many numbers are put after the decimal point. This is very useful when you have to round to a certain value without actually having to go through the mental process of rounding the number. To access this control, open the Numi app and click the little switch on the bottom left at the window. Once the setting window opens up, look at the top, then you'll see the precision control setting. In that little blank space, you can type how many numbers you want after the decimal point. The new Mi Calculator app is super simple and really easy to use. I know this sounds almost redundant at this point, but it's true. Now this feature doesn't set it apart from other calculator apps because I mean, how hard is a calculator to use? But I mean, it's still a good experience for the person using the app. So after listening to these 10 reasons about why the new Mi Calculator app is the best for macOS, if you want to download it, then you can go to newme.app and follow the simple instructions on their website. Also, there will be a link in the description below if you want. 
that's it for this video make sure to like share and obviously subscribe also hit that notification bell so you know whenever i upload a new video also follow me on instagram and twitter at sweet tech planet thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time